Hey guys, how's it going? Thomas DIY here, back for another troubleshooting video with our troubleshooting mini series here where we're actually looking at, you know, form posts, things of that nature, and looking for people who are having problems and trying to figure out exactly what's wrong with their mining rigs. So here's a guy right here. He says, guys, I built my rig, but the display's not showing. Please help. So there's a few things that you guys want to keep in mind when you're having display related issues. The first thing is check your monitor's settings. Um, different monitors have different settings, but I think we've all made the mistake before of let's say that you take your cable, you plug it into the back of your TV, for example, and you got the TV set on like HDMI one when you actually get the cable plugged into like HDMI three. All right. So make sure your monitor is set on the right settings. I know some monitors have like settings for like DVI, other monitors have settings for like VGA. Just make sure you put it on the right setting first. And you got your monitor plugged up and it's not in standby mode. All right. Now, that being said, um, this guy right here posted a video and we're going to scroll down here and I want you guys to watch this video here um, and I want you guys to see what's wrong. OK, here in this video, I don't want you guys to look and stuff. What do you notice that's wrong in this video? Because I can count a couple things wrong in this video. So let's go ahead and watch this video and see if you guys can find them and stuff like that. Hmm. So the things we got wrong, uh, um, there's definitely a few things here. It looks like. Um, we're seeing a couple different things here. Mm. All right, so I just counted about six things wrong in this video here. So um, let's go ahead and go back here to the very beginning of the video. So as you guys know, he's trying to do his um, actual display, right? He can't get his display to come up. So as you can see right here, he's got a DVI adapter plugged into his board. So his motherboard is, there's a DVI and he's got a DVI adapter to VGA right here. And that means that his monitor is probably using a, um, it's a VGA monitor. Now, this is the thing, whenever you take um, your basically GPUs and you plug them into your motherboards like he's got over here, um, that kind of changes the default settings. So by default, it's going to go to that DVI port right there on the motherboard. But once you plug a GP in, it just kind of redirects that video traffic to your graphics cards. Now, the PCI slots are laid out like one, two, three, four, five, six, and you know, so on. But you know, when you're troubleshooting and stuff, typically your first monitor, like whatever's in port one, is always going to be like the default, um, you know, where the video feed is actually going to go. And um, for an example right here, um, what he should do, instead of having five graphics cards plugged in, because you got one, two, three, four, five, he should unplug these four cards right here and only have one graphics card plugged in as part of troubleshooting. That way you're not guessing at um, which graphics card that you need to plug your HDMI cable into or whatever. And that's really what he needs. He needs an HDMI cable and he shouldn't be trying to use this uh, VGA cable right here. Um, he's also got his, it uh, looks like his keyboard's plugged in and ethernet. You don't need ethernet plugged in when you're troubleshooting, okay? So that's kind of another thing here, but let's go ahead and hit play here and see if we see anything else kind of wrong right here, okay? So the second thing I want to point out right here is this right here. On this motherboard, every motherboard's different, but on this motherboard, there are two Molex connectors. There's one right here where my mouse is, okay? There's one Molex connector right there, and then there's another Molex connector right over here by the power supply. You see that? So... Certain motherboards um, some require different power voltages and stuff like that. Mining motherboards are like right in there too and everything. So the thing about this is, do these Molex connectors require power? And you're going to have to look inside of your motherboard's manual to actually know whether or not that these um, mo this motherboard actually requires power off of these Molex connectors. Because one of the reasons he may not be getting display is because he's not powering these two Molex connectors. And what that means is it's basically like these, these PCIe connectors, they're plugged in here, but they're not receiving power. That's the reason the graphics cards aren't working, because he's, he's not supplying these with power because he doesn't have anything plugged into these two Molex connectors here. Now, th that applies to some other boards, not all of them, but that's why I said you need to refer to your, you know, motherboard's manual to actually know whether or not that it could be the Molex connectors here being the problem. So that's basically two major issues right there, um, if not three issues that we've already more or less found just looking at this raw footage right here. Um, so 
let's go ahead and look at the rest of the stuff here, kind of try to figure it out. Um, you know, he's trying to power the monitor on. It's just flashing and stuff right there. Um, he's got his SSD plugged in, okay? So having an SSD plugged in, that's that's another problem. Um, typically, you don't want to troubleshoot. Like if he's trying to just get display and he's trying to get into his motherboard, ideally you would just want to unplug your SSD or um, unplug your flash drive or whatever because you, you, that's just something else that's going to cause you problems, right? So you want to kind of disconnect everything that's giving you an issue uh, um, and then just kind of start adding things. Right here's another problem, okay? See the graphics card right here? Um, this right here, if you look right here, um, we have basically one of the power connectors is not even plugged in to the graphics card. So there's another problem. And if you guys keep on looking here, um, I'm pretty sure you guys see the other remaining problem. Um, I'll let you guys try to figure that out. So that covers the video here. But let's go over here and look at this picture right here. I want you guys to look at this. What is the problem? What do you see wrong in this photo? What, what's wrong here? There's, there's about two things wrong here. Um, and I don't think the one is related, but let's look at this here. What's wrong in this picture? See these cables right here? You guys, if you're if you're a veteran miner, you would know. So these are six pin to SATA connectors, and these actually pose a fire hazard. You should never use SATA connectors to power your risers. Okay, that's a problem right there. It's completely not related to his video related issues, but this is a fire hazard. Okay, you can't do this. Um, you, you should never use SATA to actually power uh, your risers or your graphics cards. That's an absolute no no. So he's got a big screw up right there. Um, these risers, in, in a pinch, you can use a Molex but you never want to use more than two Molex connectors per cable. And honestly, that's a stretch. I, I wouldn't ever use more than one. I got one card right now running on a Molex connector just because I didn't have enough, um, you know, connectors and stuff because um, of my graphics cards and stuff. But that's a different story. It's not related to this. But the fact of the matter is you can't use six pin to SATA. It's just a fire hazard. It's not safe. You have to use six pin connectors. Typically, the, the way you would wire a mining rig is you would have have um, you would use a splitter so you'd run a splitter over to this uh, riser here so it'd be like a six pin splitter that would plug into here and then another six pin to here and then you would have um, basically your eight pin or six pin plug in and go to your power supply so coming from your power supply you'd have like a six pin plugged in um, for this rig right here um, he's got five cards ideally if he had like an EVGA power supply he could get by um, and do four cards and the rig would be completely safe um, that's how I designed my rigs he's got five cards so he really needs another power supply or he's gonna have to go to something like a server grade power supply um, because I mean this this is just not safe okay um, the other thing that we I've noticed right here is look right here on the motherboard see this RAM this is green okay and that kind of tells me that this might be like a server grade RAM or something like that so this is like non-standard RAM and that could also be causing an issue um, the thing is this rig is powering up Okay, and that's the thing I want to point out here. So the rig's powering up, it's booting up, and it, it's actually running. He's just not getting display. So we can rule out CPU because if it was a CPU problem or something, the, the board would power up and then it would just kind of power back down. Okay, the same with the RAM. I mean, I don't think it's RAM related, so we can kind of rule out the RAM because the, the, the unit's powering up and it's staying on. It's not powering off. If the RAM was messed up, if the CPU was messed up, the unit would probably boot up and then it would boot off because the RAM or something like that would need to be reset. Uh, power connectors, you know, it wouldn't be running right if the power connectors weren't in here on the motherboard. The same with the uh, CPU up here, that connector looks like it's in there um, the main thing I would be doing is I would unplug the SSD because let's say that you have like a defective SSD or there's some kind of issue or something wrong with that SSD it can actually prevent prevent the system from booting up, but he's not getting any display. So I, I don't think that's even relevant there. Um, but I would want to unplug that SSD just when I'm troubleshooting and stuff and disconnecting that from the board, because you, you don't want that to be like a factor, right? You want to eliminate anything that could possibly be causing you problems or be causing you issues, stuff like that. So with that being said, guys, um, as far as this rig goes right here, what is actually wrong with it? Um, there's there's a bunch of stuff wrong with it. And right here, it looks like he's got some kind of cable going into one of his cards with the riser and stuff here. Um, there's definitely a few different scenarios of things that he's actually tried. 
Um, you, you know, in my opinion, what I think could be wrong here um, is it could be a possibly a bad riser, which is giving him his problems. Um, and the way I would troubleshoot this is, um, you know, going back to that video, I would actually unplug all the PCIe connectors on the motherboard with the exceptions of one. OK, and then I would just use one graphics card and one riser. And if he can't get a video signal that way, what I would do then is I would then swap out the risers because he could have a defective riser. And if that doesn't work, swap them out again because you might have two defective risers. <laughs> I, I'm serious. I, I've had this problem with risers and stuff before, guys, where you'll just get like a bad batch and you'll have like maybe three or four risers that are bad in a pack of six, right? So you buy six risers and four of them are defective. It is absolute BS, I, I'm going to tell you now. Um, and it's so aggravating when you have bad risers, but that's why you got to, you know, troubleshoot and stuff and swap them out, you know, one or two times. Now, as far as what I think is wrong here with this rig is there's a lot of stuff wrong. And personally, I think if we go back to the very beginning of this video right here and you look where I'm talking about here in this video, um, these Molex connectors are not being powered. I pretty, I have a feeling that that is what the issue is. If he would just put Molex connectors on these connectors right here on the motherboard on each side, that's going to supply power to these PCIe slots, which will then give him the video because the cards will then be getting power. As of right now, if this Molex connector is not plugged in, it's basically like these, these, none of these chips are even plugged in here. I mean, that's probably what his issue is as far as I'm concerned. But I mean, he's got a series of issues, you know, I mean, he's got, um, he's using DVI, um, you know, with an adapter and stuff. And, you know, you're not going to pick that up, especially if you got video cards plugged in. But if you unplug all the video cards, he should get at least some kind of picture with the DVI at that point unless it's something else. Now, if this motherboard was used or something like that, somebody might have gone into the settings and they might have tampered with something. Typically, there's an onboard battery on these motherboards. It looks like the battery's over here by the RAM. Um, he might be able to remove the battery and flip it upside down or something, push it in there, hold it for 10 seconds or something and do like a hard reset, like a factory reset of the board itself because it, it might be a board-related issue. It could be uh, something wrong with uh, the board or somebody had it before it's used and and they've got settings and stuff on there that just messed up. And it's also possible that this is just a bad motherboard altogether. And there's just something wrong with the motherboard, which is why he's not getting video. I don't think it's the board. I just think it's these power connectors is where his problem really is. Or he's dealing with a bad riser. So we got about two major issues. But the fact of the matter is, I mean, if you watch this all the way through, thinking about what I said just a minute ago, I mean, we got a monitor that's not powering up. I mean, he can play with the monitors all day long. You know, but really, I mean, you would want to unplug the SSD, all those SATA cables and stuff. They've got to go. And like right there, the power GPU right there, it's not even plugged in. I mean, it does not have it's 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 missing one of its six pin connectors right there on the very end. You can see that. So, I mean, yeah, the GPU is not going to work if you're not supplying it with power. Uh, but with that being said, guys, I just wanted to give you guys a quick idea here and uh, going over this rig here. Just some of the obvious problems with this one. Um, we'll go ahead and click the comments here real quick. I'll let you guys kind of see the comments here, kind of as references real fast. That way everybody sees. Uh, so you kind of see right here some of the stuff that's been said. Try resetting your BIOS, you know, unplug the PSU, remove it, a few different things there. Um, you know, basically you can see something in the mining software. I mean, you know, the guy's like, no, nothing, right? Because you don't have a monitor, you ain't got a picture, right? So you're not even getting to the mining software. Um, and basically my response is more or less, here's the simplest thing to do. Unplug all the PCI connectors from the motherboard, except for one, you know, because th th it really is a rookie mistake when you do this, because you need to test everything individually. You also have, he also has a fire hazard by using six pin to SATA connectors right there. Um, there are two Molex connectors on the motherboard that might be required to have power, which you know, so there's a few things going on here. Um, you know, he's like, check the manual, removed all PCIs, blah, blah. And there's just different things going on here. But um, one of the things that Todd down here actually pointed out, he said, the risers is very important. My first one was dead on arrival. The LED was on, but it wasn't working. And that I think is a really good point, guys. Some of these risers come with LED lights, so you think the riser is working just because that LED is on, but you can unplug the riser from the motherboard and that LED light is still on. All the LEDs indicate is that that riser has got power going to it. It doesn't mean that the riser is working. It doesn't mean if the riser is good. It just means the riser has power. And a lot of times that um, these risers and stuff, they'll mess up and they'll go to the bad, and that LED light is still on, and it's just like, I don't understand what's wrong. The LED 
is deception, okay, of a working riser. That is what those LED lights on those risers are. They're just deception. All it means is that you got power. And let's say that a power supply gets turned off. You're looking at your rig like, why is my cards not working? You look at the rig. It's like, oh, well, I got four risers with no power. Um, it's got to be the power supply or something, right? So you, you just turn the power supply on, boom, problem solved. So the LEDs, I mean, they do have a perk. They do have some benefits and stuff because at least you know if they're getting power or not. But for the most part, the LEDs doesn't tell you anything. Um, you know, you got guys here disconnecting the car. Some guy says switch the PEG to the IG. The problem with that is you're not, he's not even able to get the monitor on, right? So he can't even go in to the settings uh, to even configure or change anything. So that, I mean, you can't really do stuff like that until you can actually first get into the, you know, motherboard, into the BIOS. Um, right here is like, you know, connect an HDMI cable to the main card, remove the TV monitors, blah, blah. Um, a lot of people kind of weighing in on this and stuff, but some of the stuff, it's like, is the GPU connected to the monitor? I don't see your GPU cable to the monitor. I mean, there's just different things here. Um, here's a great example. It's like connect your display cable to the GPU and the PCI main slot, which is kind of what I'm recommending, uh, more or less he's doing. So, I mean, everybody's just kind of like, it's it's like something's off here. It's just like, it's it's probably something stupid. And that's typically a lot of times what it is. And I mean, if, if, if I had to guess, because he hasn't figured out the problem yet and gave us a solution, but I honestly do believe that this is a bad riser situation, okay? This is a bad riser um on this rig and that's why he's having so many problems here trying to get display and it's also possible that the the main card that he's plugging into it could also be something wrong with the card itself or it could be the motherboard shot but i mean the motherboard's booting up it's running but i'm, I'm really feeling that those molex connectors they, they just need uh they need power that's what i think's messing him up and he just ain't got those plugged up yet but we'll have to see hopefully we'll uh, see something in the days to come but anyways guys hopefully this video helps some somebody out um you know give you an idea if you're having problems with your display not showing just kind of seeing what some other people have done and um, some of the other problems guys are dealing with but anyways guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and catch you on the next one